Howdy, I'm Matt, and in this episode we are going to be taking a look at the Maytek 1.2 stroke 1.3 gigahertz video transmitter. So in the bag, you received the bag, the video transmitter, we've got a special note on the pin headers which we'll get to in a moment, you get the antenna and two plastic sleeves as well. Now I did mention the pin headers, is that by default this comes to you without these pin headers soldered on. I've, you don't get them in the bag and I'll include a link to some of these in the video descriptions, they're just the single ones, they're really quite inexpensive. However, you could just solder straight to the board if you see fit. So let's get the packaging out of the way because that's ruining the light here. Now, this video isn't a topic on the legality of using 1.2. If you, uh, All I will say is that if you're in the United States, then you probably need a ham license. And this video transmitter is available in two versions, an international version, which this one is, or a US locked one, where you have a much more limited number of channels available to you. Now, We'll get to the transmitter in a moment, but the real oddity is this V antenna, and there was, and I found a lot of confusion with this antenna. Uh, in short, the antenna, this V piece here, should ideally be pointing towards you. So if this was on an aircraft, in fact, let's zoom out and put it on a, uh, a model which I've got up here, for example, is that if you were using said video transmitter and this antenna, you would typically have that pointing towards the front of the aircraft. So on the model's return is that you get the best signal. In other words, that this V creates a mushroom going out like that, uh, so you get the best signal. Although, I've got to be frankly honest, when I may have used this antenna, I had it reversed going the opposite way because I didn't really care about the journey on the way back, if I'm being brutally honest. Anyway, Anyway, let's get back in and take a look at the actual video transmitter itself. So the antenna is a little bit of a curiosity, uh, and there are plenty of other options of when it of what it comes to when it comes to antennas for 1.2 kit. But again, a topic for a different day. Right, taking a look at the video transmitter is that it's very, very simple to use and it really is just a push button affair once we get in there. Now I'm not going to power mine on for obvious reasons but you literally just press and hold that button on the right hand side and then the channels would go to blink and then you can choose which channel you would like to be on. Now for absolute clarity you're able to go from channel 4 which is 1080, in fact rather than me reading them all out I'll put them in the video description and yes, all the common channels are covered for you. Now there is a real oddity, oh and by the way you may have noticed the speaker on board as well. Now there is one oddity when it comes to this board and it's to do with the pinouts which uh, you're not going to be able to see so what I'll do is put a photo up on the page for you although you might just be able to make them out. We'll put a photo on the screen. Is the one thing for you to go really really careful of is because Maytech, in their ultimate wisdom, have been and reversed the positive and the negative channels. So instead of just using a standard uh, servo lead, uh, there's a servo, so instead of using a standard, standard servo connector, you can't use this. And thank goodness they've got a reverse polarity diode in there. It's because on the left hand side, that is your power in, so VCC, and this transmitter takes anywhere from 6 volts all the way up to 36 volts, which is a crazy number of S's uh, for cell counts. Then you have ground, and then you have your video pin. Now, the one nice thing about this video transmitter is that it does also provide a standard five volts out, so you could quite easily power your FPV camera from this transmitter as well, so you can have your main battery supply coming in, you can then uh, and ground, and then you can have another two wires coming out, ground and five volts going onto your video transmitter, and of course you've got video in there in the middle. Now you also have audio, up TX and RX, so audio if you're using external audio, and TX and RX are there for potentially updating the software at a later date, which I've got to admit I've not seen any mention of uh, in their documentation. Now the one curiosity for me personally is that I don't know the weight and it's also not published. So let's zoom out here for a moment uh, and I've got the scales out and I'm just going to measure the video transmitter with, with the pin headers because I've been and soldered them on uh, and that will give you a good idea on the weight. So the weight is approximately 8 grams uh, with the pin headers on and that's a full set as well. If we chuck on the antenna and a plastic sheath as well, uh, we are talking 16 grams. So if we compare this to 
to the Partron kit, for example, the other versions of video transmitters out there for 1.2, uh, the, the, the whole system is probably less weight than just one of those video transmitters. And these video transmitters have a power rating of 630 milliwatts, which I know for some of you, which you use maybe the 5.8 gigabyte band, is that you may be thinking, well, that's quite a lot, Matt, but I'm not gonna get very far on it. Uh, I could, well, there are plenty of videos on YouTube which would tell you that you should be able to get the best part of 20 miles probably more on a video transmitter like this. You may need to do something with your reception and you may also need to do something with your uh, antenna on the model. However, when it comes to 1.3, it is nothing like 5.8 and the issues which you get with 5.8 really don't affect 1.2. But that, like I said, is a topic whole different topic for a different day. We are just here taking a look at the Maytek 1.2 gigahertz video transmitter. And as you can see by the size of my hand, it's very small. It's also very lightweight. Like we saw a few moments ago, this is only eight grams. However, there is a piece of common sense which needs to be raised, is that if you're gonna use any video transmitter like this, you need to make sure that this top plate here has plenty of airflow over it. This is not a device which you stick inside your model, uh, wedged away, all nice and cozy warm uh, in the foam. You need this in a high airflow place. So ideally out on a wing and slightly raised so plenty of air gets in on top. Uh, and again, those of you which run properly tuned antennas is that uh, it will generate less heat because it's not having to deal with greater impedance, etc., etc. I don't wanna get too nerdy in that top topic. But just keeping it really, really simple, make sure plenty of airflow over this device because she will get hot even with the provided antenna. So there we go. That is the first look at the Matec 1.2 stroke 1.3 mega gigahertz. I need to get that right. Antenna. Uh, from what I've heard, they are very, very good. And what I'll do, I'll include a link to these over on Banggood in the video description for you. They cost around 26 to 28 great British pounds, we'll say about 35 US dollars, which in the scheme of things for such a powerful video transmitter in the 1.2 gigahertz range is actually pretty good value. The only caveat which I can tell you to look out for is that wiring on the bottom. Remember that left hand side pin just there, that's your VCC, not ground and when I perhaps first received one of these, I may have wired it the wrong way around so I can tell you point blank that potentially it does have polarity protection in it and actually that's even written in their notes. So that's the only, uh, one thing you need to go careful with it and of course the last thing which I'm, I'm just gonna go and stress is that you need plenty of airflow over this device to keep it nice and cool. On that note, if you have any questions or comments about this video transmitter, you can let me know in the comments section underneath this video. If you require any technical specifications and the full list of supported channels, not only have I been and put those in the video description, I will also include a link across to the Banggood website and also across to the Maytech, the manufacturer's website, so you can see more detailed photos than what we've been and seen here live on this video. On that note, as always, a big thank you from myself, Matt, Welcome aboard. If you're new here, howdy, don't forget to press the red subscribe button and of course press the bell notification because the next video which could be out could be, we could be talking about the bigger topic of when it comes to 1.2 gigahertz video or other video types or we could be dispatching some foam cut to the boom. <laughs> anyway, for myself Matt, as always, cheerios.